G'day, it is Jim Q here. Um, sorry for not showing you the actual hunt, but um, yeah, did it at night, so it's getting fairly warm here. And uh, Australia is also renowned for having, I think, probably 15 of the most uh, top 20 uh, most venomous snakes in the world as well. So uh, sometimes it's just nice to get out at night, and it was a nice balmy night, so I thought we'd just go out of town a bit with uh, a friend. And I just want to quickly just go through um, some of the finds. So in terms of the silver, so that's 1944 ram shilling. King George VI on the back, so that's pretty good. Uh, sixpences, that is a 1906 uh, English um, with Edward on the back. Um, there's a couple of other sixpences. There's a 1951, that's almost in mint condition that one. In, and I'll, when, when you see the photo of it, you'll see there's a PL, so I think that was about the last Australian coins that were made in um, in London. So, is that one 1950 uh, sixpence? Again, in pretty good condition. King George VI in the back, a bit of staining there. Uh, Spanish coin, 10 centimos, and that one was from 1959, made out of al aluminium, so. Um, obviously, if it's been in the ground for 50 odd years, it's in, not in the greatest of nick. Uh, in terms of pennies, so there's a 1927 uh, Australian Commonwealth, Commonwealth, Commonwealth penny, King George V on the back, and it's 19, sorry, 1916, and again with uh, King George the uh, Six on the back there. Yeah. In terms of the half pennies, uh, I think that's a 1932, one half penny. Again, King George V. And a beautiful uh, English half penny, 1895, with the veil head of um, Queen Victoria on the back. Um, just some other finds, just some uh, uh, current Australian coinage. $5.20 there. Um, I think this is just a bit of junk, but it looked like a nice little pendant thing. Uh, this is quite interesting, it's just got a pattern on it, I'm not sure what it was off. You can see there's some sort of strapping or a, a, a clasp around the back there. And of course, the obligatory set of keys. Um, I'll post this up with a, f a few photos so you can have a closer look at them. Uh, have a great weekend of hunting and hopefully you'll have a successful hunt. Cheers, bye.